Welcome to Osiris and Dawn. I met my base and I added a couple of boxes back here. Just for the bottles and I got another one there. I might actually bring this whole workshop a little bit closer to the wall since I already fixed the habitats. Because I'm gonna try to place a wall here to protect my stuff. Not only because of the aliens, also because of this little bastard that I think is messing up my stuff. And also the storms. I'm just not sure if the rock wall is be gonna be high enough to protect them. But that's fine. The last episode I managed to find uh, some great stuff and I uncovered the deep terrain drill, the floodlight and the smart bin data disk. So these were data disks that were in boxes that I managed to open up with these key cards. I went into the better mine which is that one over there and that was great. Unfortunately I still haven't found the tier 4 card. I'm gonna have to keep searching but I managed to go into the barracks which are now open and the biodome too. And I should be able to fix all of this. And I think I'm going to. Because it shouldn't be that hard. So... One thing that I could do... Is... One thing that I believe still works. Is just to add these things to the build planner. And I would like to see... But for example, the bed is here. Is it simple? The crates are not here. Only the things that are already fixed are here. But I could just add, for example, the computer desk add to build goal and I think I can only do one or I can do two they compound unfortunately I can't remove them from the build goal can I oh I can just clear them all okay so that's kind of helpful the red couch is not going to show up so yeah let's just fix them all computer screen plastic yeah I think I, I got a, a better solution I'm just gonna pick everything up. Should be fine. So let's just pick uh, circuit boards, this, this, power cells. Let's also pick up rubber, plastic, glass, cloth, steel. Pretty good. And some ingots like the aluminum, maybe the iron, maybe cobalt. Maybe that's enough. I don't know. Let's see what we can find. I also crafted myself this mechanite spanner and I fixed the whole base. Now it's all at 100%. You can see the green bar all the way up. Oh, I forgot the copper. Gotcha. And computer screens. Motherfucker. So I can... Oh, I can build this thing. Nice. And I need the aluminum. So, look at that. By fixing this, I got a bunch of locks. Oh, look at that. There's the tier 4 card. Okay. And I got a bunch of locks. So let's listen to them. Or read them. Because they might have some good information. I don't know which one I already read. So, mem member returned sick and spitting blood for mission today. We have him in intensive care. Unfortunately, the patient is... Let's try again. Unfortunately, the patient is the medic in the crew. So, he's instructing us while suffering from this illness. Okay, so he got an infection. Maybe from the poisonous guy. Vega has changed. Takara is still missing after exploring the dunes. Sokolov and Steely haven't come back yet. Collins keeps talking about leaving while we can, but I can't leave the others. Not like this. They got separated. After doing a routine check on the crew, are are healthy and in tip-top shape. Tip-top! Sokolov is running a well-organized mission, so I guess Vega must be the computer. I guess. They're trying to, to take care for me. But this is beyond any illness I know of. This pathogen, I can feel it growing inside me, like vines stretching. So they got into the AI, these motherfuckers. My bioanalysis is showing a fusion of cell matter and also a rejection of matter. The new cells are choosing which ones they fuse with and which to reject. It appears it does not like human skin. I'm losing small chunks of my skin, so a Vega is a guy, not a computer. Unless it's a really sophisticated computer with skin and all. I don't know. I'm losing small chunks of my skin, exposing a strange root system underneath. Jesus. The pain is beyond unbearable. I'm not sure what will come of me. I'm so hungry. Maybe he's become a zombie. It's so hot in here. I must get out. Yeah, so Vega killed everybody. Is that what happened? They turned Vega into some kind of monster. And he killed everything on its way. So let's try to fix all of this. Maybe I'll give him some more stuff. So computer screens, do aluminum. And copper. And there's a friend right here. Let's see. Yeah, the forge is just holding on. No problem at all. 
I have a feeling the aliens don't do much to the machines. Yeah, should be fine. So let's get also the laminum. Which I got here and also a computer screen. Which I'm gonna have to make. Simple enough. There you go. Let's fix the other pieces. I already fixed the, the bins in the biodome. But unfortunately I can't place a new one in. So there's that. Computer desk. Nothing new. I, oh, I already used the computer screen there. Okay. Let's fix these things. No power. All oh, right, because I have to connect the barracks to the to the power distributor. And let's see, are they completely good? Yeah, these things are with full health. I can still access the shower, but I should once I power it. I route the power to the barracks. Let's see. So I don't need power to the biodome. So let's change it for the barracks. And now I should get power. In the barracks, let's see if that's the case. I also needed another computer screen, so let me just make one really quick. And the lights are on, so I guess this must be working. There you go. 10% health, clean suits, plus 10% agility for 8 minutes. I'm not feeling the agility. I, I'm really not. But okay, let's fix the couch. 10% health plus 50% stamina for 60 minutes, which is great. And I got a stamina buff. It showed up there for a brief second. There it is. I thought the agility would give me a speed boost, but I'm not feeling it. But the stamina is really useful. So it's kind of nice. I'm I think I'm going to stop using this thing. Nothing new here. Can get health from my bed. I already got that thing and the lockers are done. So that's nice. So I got a tier 4 car. So I think I know where I'm gonna go tomorrow. Early on in the morning. So let's fix these ones too. Maybe they have stuff inside. Oh yeah, more logs. Oh look at that. A tier 2 card. And another data disk. This one is empty. So let's see what this data disk is. I got two computers now. Decrypt. The liquid tank. Which is not that useful because I already got two of them back there and I can just fix them. But okay. These things, I don't have soil or the ability to craft soil. We can actually make it on us, but I need human waste. So okay, let's just go to sleep and in the morning let's try to activate the comms relay. Shall we? Nothing punted my, my rover. That's a good sign. Okay, it's still a little early, but it's fine. I can just park away things. Yeah, you're gonna stay there. You're gonna stay right there. No patrolling for you. No, no. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Huh? So, I think I'm gonna put away the, the rifle. Should be fine. I don't need it that much. Let's just save some ammo. The other one seems to be disappeared, but the boxes are all in good good shape. Good. So let's just park away a few things. Another thing, I would like to recycle all of these weapons. The ones that I'm not using, because look at that. They give me good stuff. I found all of this in the boxes, so that's great. The ammo. I don't need to carry all of this neither, so I think I'm going to drop a few of them. I'm just going to bring one stack of each for each weapon. I think it should be good. And just to be kind of... Well, I'm going to take it this way. That should be okay. There you go. Let's drop this. And the bottle is going to stay back here. Look at that. This is useful because the water reclaimer was bugged out. So it's kind of nice to have all this water. So let's just uh, carry a little bit of this. As I usually do. And all of the cards. Which is nice. So this way I can go into any door that I want to. That's great. So let's just have a meal. Which I don't need that much, so I'm just gonna grab some water. Nicely done. And let's get going. So the comms relay. There are two entrances, as far as I know, to the alpha mine. One of them is next to the radar dish, somewhere over there. 
The other one is in the direction of the starting area. So that's the one that I'm going to take because it's the closest to the door that I'm going to have to go to. I was also looking if I can spot some magnesium here because it seems to be spread around. And that's the one thing that I'm kind of sure on every single time. So there he is you know, on that big rock surface. That's the alpha mine entrance B. So that's where I'm going to go. Okay, it's 4 a.m. Of course, in a mine doesn't make doesn't make much difference so let's just go in and see what we can find inside that door oh yeah let's see the box nice and another data disk and it's interesting because i already recovered this box and it has another data disk that's great so i think i'm gonna try to come here again so now we just make a right turn and we should go straight to the big arena there's gonna be a few snubs there but it should be okay but let's test the assault rifle. Since I have it here, let's just waste ammo. Why not? Another. Oh, nice. That's good resources right there. Oh boy. These are different now. Are they harmful? I guess I can consider them not harmful. Can I step on them? Okay, should be fine. Should be good. So there's the first area, and there's a couple of boxes here, so let's check them out. Maybe they have new stuff and more discs. Smith Lock 2 and Collins Lock 1. Okay, let's bring it. Let's listen to them. Nice. I do enjoy my whistles. Great. So I got a little bit more room. Let's keep going. This box, another chisel. In a fuel cell. That's great. That's good stuff. Oxygen levels dangerous. Thank you, Clarice. And I just noticed. I think I heard some meteorites coming down. So that's good. It means maybe I can get some diamonds out of them. Someone mentioned in my comment section that we can get diamonds out of the meteorites. That's how it used to be. Well, let's see. If I can find a few of them, that's going to be nice. Because the diamond chisel is going to be really useful. And another tier 2. I think that's where I actually found my first one. And they stack. I got three now. It's not uh, important because they don't seem to be used up when I use them. And this is the area where there should be the entrance. It's just on that side. Let's see here. Nice. Some more stuff. I'm getting full, but that's fine. And let's see. Is there anybody here? Yeah, but it's the, the peaceful ones. So it should be okay. You don't bite me, I don't shoot you. That's how it works. So let's just go across and try to open up that door. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was in the Zeta Mind that I opened it up with a blue card, which I already have. And then there was a couple of doors that were both tier 4. So I think I might try to go there. Real A generator room, but this is the mission. Oh, but it... Oh, okay, you're gonna go too? Okay. I kind of feel good that you're here. I got someone to... So I think that's the way to go, but I want to check out this room first. Because it could be a box or something. No box. Okay. I guess I'm just wasting my time. Let's park away the rifle because it's faster to run without it. Let's see here. Does it lead somewhere? I guess it must be the same room. I just came from a different direction. So there's a bunch of gold. And that must be the thing that I have to power up. Maybe. Let's see here. Is that a box? Hidden? No. So I definitely have to go from the other side. No monsters. Which is uh, kind of a bummer. It would be nice to have a big fight here. But there's a nice box and a big old thing. It's rotating. Is it working already? So, oh nice. More water. That's what I need. Comms relay. Activate. There is no build cost for this object. Good. So we should be activated, shouldn't it? Do I have to fix it? There is no build cost for this object. I'm not getting a lot of information here. 
So let's read the mission and see if we can gather some information. Activate the power system of the comms relay deep in Alpha Mine. That's what I'm trying to do. I also found a few new locks, so let's read them. We have successfully arrived at our destination in Gliss 581, outside of Planet B. It is expected there are three moons. We have docked above Proteus 2, since our drone readings are showing Mars-like conditions. Okay. So the other one. I set the comset password to 847, after the error code from where I grew up on Earth. With so many missions objects, I needed a code easy for me to remember. So I'm gonna try to remember 847. I don't need to remember, I can just check this thing later, right? So Oxygen I'm... Oxygen levels dangerous. Oh, thank you, Clarice. I'm leaving with Astri, Sokolov and Steely went into beta mine. I'm leaving with Astri. Sokolov and Steely went into beta mine and haven't returned. They've chewed off our comlinks and we have no... Oh, boy. They've chewed off our comlinks and we have no way of communicating. We're giving them another two hours and then we'll prepare for launch back to the Phoenix. So they kind of gave me the hint that there might be a space station up there, somewhere above Proteus. But uh, I'm not sure what to do here. I did see a few solar panels outside, which is not right here. Might be above this. I don't know. I can't really check the map. I don't know why it's showing me magnesium on my mouse. Did I see magnesium here? No. But maybe I have to fix the solar panels. But the mission definitely told me to come here. So I'm not sure. It's not showing me anything to fix. Let's see if something is showing. No, I can't really see. So um, I'm going to go on a hunch. And I'm going to go on the hunch that I have to fix those solar panels that I saw on the, first, on the surface. It's basically next to the mushroom forest above. In between the mushroom forest and a big old pillar. So that's when I'm gonna go. Because I'm not sure what else I should be doing here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have the resources to fix the solar panel. So I'm gonna have to go back to base. I don't have like computer screens or nothing, do I? No, but I'm also gonna have to go to the solar panels to actually see what they take. But let me just refill the buggy really quick. Let's just pick this thing up. There you go, that should be enough. Nice. So from here, that's basically next to that big pillar. Or is it the other one? I think it's the other one behind it. Yeah, it's a little bit farther away. And I kind of forgot to go for the solar panels, but let's check out these ones right here and see what they take because it could be the same recipe. So these ones took Oh, they don't show. Uh, but if I remember correctly, it was gold, steel, and something else. Oh, what was it? Let's see, I got some steel here. I think it was three solar panels up there. And I think I, I need gold. And uh, for some reason, I believe I need computer screens. But I need glass. So I don't have... I get some. Nice. So let's just do three computer screens. And uh, what else can I bring that could be useful? I think I'm going to bring copper, aluminum and iron. Those are three things that usually are useful. Necessary to fix stuff. I got plastic and steel. I think I better make a little bit more steel. I got seven. Let's do all seven. I can get more carbon later. And uh, in terms of this, I think I'm also going to bring the rubber. The fuel cells could be useful, so I think I'm going to bring the fuel cells. I'm going to drop the tools that I'm not going to need. The hoses, let's bring them too, why not? This water thing's already full, so let's put the rest here. And I got another data disk, so let's check it out before leaving. Uh, and that's the only one. I also got an extra pistol, so let's just dismantle it. There it is. And what else can I disintegrate? I don't think anything else. So let's just leave some stuff like the the broken circuit boards. Okay. Maybe a little bit more plastic. A full stack. 
And hopefully this will be enough. I got this. Uh, maybe bring in some hinges. And uh, I think we're good. Okay, let's just decrypt this thing. Let's see what it will give. Hopefully, the cam station. Give it. Huh? Maybe it's something I already have. Smart bin. Yep, it's something I already have because I already found the smart bin before and he probably was in the same box. So, okay. Looting the same box apparently is not going to give me new data disks. Just the same one. So let's leave it here. And uh, where else can I drop? I don't need to bring as much fuel cells. So let's just put them here. Now it's on the one on top. There you go. Let's just bring a stack. Hopefully this will be enough to fix those solar panels. One thing that I don't know is that I'm actually going to have to fix the solar panels for a mission. Which could be a bad thing. But definitely just going to the activation of the comms ray didn't work, did it? So I gotta try something. So let's go to the solar panels and uh, fix them up. It's quite close from where I built the last season. Last season I built on top of this hill over there in front of me. And there should be a few solar panels right here. Let's see. There they are. So I wonder if this is like above the comms relay. Because it's kind of in between the two alpha mine entrances. The other one that I gone into. The B one was over there. And the A is somewhere in this direction. So this is kind of above it. Oh, I didn't bring enough wires. Oh. Okay. So there's no extra information, but I wonder, I know, I, I I, have a feeling I could be in the right ballpark here. Hopefully I won't mess up the missions by doing this, but I mean, as I mentioned before, I gotta try it. This, oh, almost there, come on buggy, don't be like that, get on it. Oh boy, you're being stubborn, what seems to be the issue man, you're gonna get stuck now. Let's go on it man. The last portion you can't go. Okay, I go on foot then. Thank you very much. Don't you worry. I can reach it myself. Jesus. So let's see. Is it just one? Oh, nice. There you go. So uh, the, the solar panels are working, but... I'm wondering if I'm going to have to do a power distributor. To route the solar panels to the relay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm doing guesswork here. Uh, so I think the next step is just to go down there and see if this wing works. If it doesn't, I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. Gonna try to do a power distributor and route the power distributor to the comms relay, which is underneath the ground. So I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. But let's try it anyway. Hopefully this will work. As it is. I don't know. I think I might also try to go to the satellite dish again, seeing if there's extra information that I just missed. And uh, one thing that I would like to see too is that if those solar panels show up here. No. So I only got five out of the six that are over there. So I guess this thing must have a range. But okay, let's just go to sleep. Should be fine. Bye bye buddy. You hang around all day with the, with the Oompa Loompa. I don't care. I'm gonna have a good night's sleep. Sleep like a baby. Okay. My tools stabilized. Thank you, Clarice. So let's see how we're doing. We're doing good. So let's keep on it. Let's get a little bit of a boost here. A shower one and a couch one, which is great. And uh, yeah, I got nothing. And a health one too. Why not? And let's keep moving. Let's just drop a few things. I don't think I'm... Oh, there you go. Nice. Any damage? No damage at all. 
Nice. I actually shot a few of these dead snubs because I thought I had the, the stone axe. But uh, okay, it should work. So let's just park away everything. I'm gonna keep all the, um, the cards. The essentials basically. And I think I should also try to do a kitchen so that I can do more meats too. So in fact I'm gonna go and just cook this meat. I should find more in the near future. And this thing should get me going for a while. So it should be okay. Let's just drop all of this. I got some extra ammo. Let's see where I, I get. There they are. No, that's not the box. That's the one on top. That's the one. Cool. And uh, I can drop the ingots and the water. That's not the box. That's the one. Thank you. Nicely done. Almost full. So as you can see, the magnesium is going to be... And the but the chromium I haven't mined too much, so I figure it must be a lot of it still in the world. So the deep terrain drill is going to be very useful. Let's see if the meteorites show up on the map. They could, but they're probably just going to show up as normal uh, notes. So there's mercury. Let's see if the where's the magnesium? Is it low hardness? Yeah, it's low hardness. So say there's some there, but there's not a lot. And uh, I think I'm actually going to place down a few of these radar dishes. And I'm going to strategically place them so they can have the best coverage possible. So the large one is showing me a bunch of stuff. Look at that. There's sulfur in the desert. But what about magnesium? Is there magnesium in the desert? You know what? These nodes weren't shown before. So I think the solar panels might have done something. They might have gave some power to the radar dish. Silver. Yeah, but no magnesium. A lot of lead. Because look at it. None of this was showing up before. So I wonder. I wonder if I did it by not doing it. So, okay. That's the next step. It's just going. Let's just go. Drop the water. There you go. Let's pick up the meat. And I'm going to drop the meat too. Because I don't want to take two things. So let's just drop the meat too next to the water. And I think I'm good. Good to keep you going. Nice. Okay. So let's go back to the alpha mine. You stay there. I just... I don't want to keep talking about this dude. You stay there. That's what you do. So in fact, I think I'm going to go from the entrance of the radar dish. Because I want to check out the radar dish. If there's, as I mentioned before, some extra info. And it should be just right there. There it is. The dish is over there. So let's check out the dish first. Let's see if it says something. Electrical access. No, doesn't seem like I can gather any information. Let's check the mission log. That's done. These are the ones that are done. Which are a lot of them. And activate the power system of the comms relay deep in alpha mine. So that's all I got right now. Server logs don't give information, I don't think. What is this? Built. Oh, it's the things that I've done. I think that's what I've built. Cool. So the mission, the log, these voice logs also gave some information. Apparently there could be a, a space station somewhere up above Proteus. But let's go in. Let's go in and try to activate that thing again. If it doesn't work, well, oh nice. There's a, a friendly guy. I think there was a box here next last time. Oh, it must be up there. There's the red card that I found before. Nice. Let's just pick it up. That's fine. And I'm running out of options. I don't know. I think the next thing... Nice. Another weapon and another chisel. Is going to be to do what I said before. Which is to try to place a power distributor. I think here is actually to my left that I have to go. And uh, try to route the solar panels to the comms relay. I don't know. Another one? 
Oh, nice. A bunch of electrical stuff. And that stamina boost is really nice. I can run for much longer. Which is great. Oh, nice. I would put a couch in my buggy if I could. And there we go. This is the other Alpha Mine Andros, the B one. Let's see the box. Still empty. So let's just go straight through here. And let's see. I'm also going to investigate that big cave before the door because I might have missed something there. Could have been a switch or something like that. You know, it's quite easy to miss. And I have a feeling maybe I missed it something. Let's investigate. So this is the big old region. It's still a little bit to go. Let's just refill the oxygen. And keep running. Oh yeah. I'm not even going to check the box. That's fine. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Clarice is not saying a single thing. I don't know what happened. Is she sad? I think she got annoyed by my irony. I don't know. Oh, there's bugs this time. Cool. Let's fight. You're against the wall. That's not good. Do I have... Oh, nice. That's a stone axe. Sweet. So let's see if I can use the assault rifle this time. Give it a go. Oh, but those are the friendly ones. No more snubs. Come on, snubs. Oxygen levels dangerous. Oh, there you are. I was missing your voice, Grace. Can you believe it? No more snubs. Oh, that's a bummer. There's a light here. Let's see if it has something next to it. Because I totally didn't investigate this, this last cave. I just went for the door. So let's see. Let's hug the wall here and see if there's something else to be found. So I guess I'm not going to try the assault rifle today. I don't want to shoot these guys. I think they might turn on me and infect me. Just like it happened to Takahashi. So we definitely feel like there's nothing here. That's the box that I found when I came in. So let's go into the door again. And uh, inside, let's see if there's a switch. Something to activate the comms relay. Let's see. I'm gonna have to be meticulous. So this is the big room with the comms relay. Let's see if there's something to be found here. Let's also pick this in case I have to fix something. The box is empty. There is no build cost for this object. That's what he told me the last time. Oh, is this a stalemate? But the thing is working. It's like, uh, it's like it's working, you know. There's a bunch of gold, which is the gold that is up there. But let's go back there to that room and see again. For example, this one. This is just a big structure, doesn't seem to have anything to turn on or off. But let's see better. There's a bunch of tubes. And uh, I imagine there could be something, something here, but it is not. A whole lot of nothing. Okay. I'm fairly confident that this side has nothing. Let's see this little cave here. Which is the one that has the gold. Maybe I have to pick up the whole amount of gold that is here. Is that possible? He's gonna set the, the relay on. So let's just harvest it. Why not? Let's try things that make no sense. Because the things that do are not working. Okay, so this is the last one. And I got all the gold here. Nice. So much do I got? Four. No, it's more than that. It's 54. Cool. So, uh, let's see. Yeah. I think this is a stalemate. Huh. I got gold. Do you need gold? That's what I want to know. Let's investigate it better. Can I build something here? No. There is no build cost for this object. 
does it mean that I have to find the data disk to build this thing? So that I can actually repair it or something? That theory doesn't bring true to me because everything else I could fix before I could build. Let's hit the damn thing. Let's see if it does something. Let's shoot it. Okay, so I did use this thing. I don't know. It's just this. So what I'm gonna try to do is build a power distributor up there next to the solar panels that I just fixed and try to route the solar panels to this thing. If it shows up, I have no... Oh, there it is. Nice. And down it goes. Works very well. Nice. It makes a poof and everything in front drops dead. That's... Oh, there it goes. There's a lot of them here. Did I change something? Why are they here all of a sudden? I don't know. But okay. That will be the next step. Because this step is done. <laughs>